Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. I am working on getting a new intro to my videos, but uh, I haven't done it yet. But this is what we're doing. We're doing some nail art with some stamping polish. Not all stamping, but there will be some stamping. And then we are going to do these gorgeous dips. I don't even know how to say that one. Uh, this one is... I don't know. <laughs> Everything will be linked. This is uh, wild and free from Peppy. Um, but anyway, we're going to do, a, well, if you guys saw the thumbnail, which of course you did, uh, a fall look. Um, and I have obviously been playing with like different ways to do nail art. I've used the acrylic paint pens. I've used acrylic paint and you know, I was like, I I'm, I'm, can use nail polish or stamping polish. It doesn't matter. The benefit with stamping polish is it typically dries faster than regular nail polish. But, uh, the nail polish that I used in this video, which is young nails actually dries rather quickly. So, uh, I mean, not, like gel <laughs> where you put it under a lamp and boom, it's instant dry, but it's not bad. It, a little patience, which when I'm doing press ons is super easy to have. Obviously if I was doing these on my nails, uh, it would have been a little harder, but I wasn't. So it's okay. So I did my first layer of the white on two nails and those are the nails we're going to do the nail art on. And then I'm going to do this pretty pumpkin color. That's what I'm going to call it. It's a pumpkin color on one nail. And then I'll do the red on two nails. I do actually leave in two dips of all of them just because I had the time to leave all that or the space, I guess, to leave that. All. This Manny went so quick. Like usually it takes me, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't include filing, um, because I'm just going camera time or recording time. And this one only took me 28 minutes, excluding filing that I do off camera. Anyway, who had a minor dog emergency. My dogs were playing and my older dog got her foot all wrapped up in my other dog's harness. And my, the puppy was like just whining like crazy. And I was like, what is happening? So I had to go take care of that, which was fun. Anyway, I'm back. I'm out a little, little out of breath, but I'm back. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, I just want to explain what I'm doing. I, because I use odorless, which you could do this with regular dip liquids if it leaves like a wet layer on top after you dip the first dip, but this helps them dry faster by doing the original dip and then going back into the powder to absorb any of that wet liquid. Uh, it works really well. The only thing I don't do that with is clear because if I do dip in to clear twice, it will leave like cloudiness on the nails. So I only dip in once, but it's fine. Even though they stay a little bit wet, once I go in with the activator, they're, they instantly harden. So it's not a problem. It does help the odorless process go a lot faster because I know a lot of people's complaints with odorless is that they take forever to dry. I don't have that problem because of the way that I do it. Um, do they take longer to dry than regular? Sure, I'm sure they do, but I, I don't know. It, I, I don't have that problem. So anyway, and I've also, I haven't experienced using regular odor, regular, regular dip liquids a ton because when I first started dipping and I used regular dip liquids, I was getting super sick, didn't know why, finally discovered what dip flu is. Um, and so I stopped using them and then I went to gel method for like two years and then I developed my gel allergy. And so I was like, crap, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, all these amazing companies decided to make odorless dip liquids, which I'm so thankful for. So I just started experimenting with odorless until I found one that I really liked, which is Color My World. There are others that I equally as okay maybe not equally but I like but I do find for me the color of my world are the best so this is what I have stuck with pretty much ever since I went back to regular liquids instead of gel 
and it works. So like I said, I, I do the first layer and then you'll see I dip my nail back in just to absorb any of that extra liquid. So we are on the red. Uh, this is my second, yes, this is my second dip. Um, once I'm done with this, I will clear cap off camera just cause you know, I, I didn't feel like you guys needed to see that as well. Uh, if you'd prefer, I leave it in, just drop a comment and let me know. But I figured it wasn't really necessary. So there we are. That's what we're looking like. We're going to activate these and see, like I said, so you can see that they're still like have a wet look to them. That is fine. It is, everything is, the clear is absorbed. So I don't even dust off because if I were to go to dust off, I could get lint or whatever. So I don't need to dust off because the activator is going to harden and make the dips not wet anymore. So it's perfect. And this is a regular activator. It's not odorless or anything. And I would say one to two minutes tops depending on how many layers, which I only do three layers of dip, um, including the clear. So I, I don't even think it really takes two minutes. And then I get the click, click, click sound and I'm good to file. So I do file off camera on this video. Oh, I'm talking too much. I need a break, <laughs> but we're about to get into the nail art. So I can't take a break. So this is, uh, after, oh, and I, okay. So I was like, why are they so shiny? They're shiny because I top coated, I matte top coated the two white nails because I'm doing nail art on them. And I shiny top coat the other ones. And the only reason I did it off camera is because I just felt weird about top coating and then going into nail art, which I think is how I did it on my last video. And it just, I don't know, it felt so off to me. Because usually when I top coat, that's like the end of my video. But I will show you guys. I, I dip top coated the three dip nails. These two, I used a matte nail polish top coat, which is SE Matte About You. It is fabulous. And it dries super fast, which is why I chose to go that route versus the dip top coat method. Plus, in case I had to wipe anything off, if I do that on the matte, dip top coat, it kind of, I don't know, I, it does something to it. Well, only when it's not like super dry. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I went in and I did the red nail polish design, whatever that I wanted on the two nails. And now I'm going to go in with the orange, but the orange is just too orange. I need it to be a little more muddy so that I can match the dip nail as best as I could get it to being that I don't have a color that specifically coordinates. So I mixed my orange with a little bit of a dark brown. And when I say a little bit, you could see, and I, it's pretty spot on. It's not exact, but it's really good. And then I'm gonna take this liner brush. This is from Sundara. It is 11 millimeters, which it took me years to figure out. Not that I've done a ton of nail art, that the longer brushes are actually better for like line work. They work so much better than the shorter brushes. Um, in fact, I really just have bad luck with the shorter brushes in general, but that's kind of what I'm going for right there. So I'm going to set this one aside to dry. I'm going to do the other one. And then after this and after they dry, I did give them like 15 minutes of dry time. I was actually prepping my nails for, uh, to put these on while I was letting these dry. So it was just cleaning up my cuticles, uh, buffing my nails, and then, yeah. So getting them all ready for application. Okay, these are the two stamps designs that I'm going to do. I'm gonna do one leaf on one nail and one leaf on another nail. I think I'm gonna end up talking through this entire video. I really hope you guys don't mind. Um, but I did good again. I'm getting so much better at staying in frame with my stamping. The only negative is my hand and I can't really do anything about it because I have to stamp. My hand is kind of in the way for you guys to see exactly how I line it up and everything. But I think it's okay. I mean, you can see I just kind of place it where I want and boom, 
and then a little piece of it did stay on the stamper but I was able to kind of line it up where it was supposed to go and you really can't even tell in the pictures that it did that and then I also had a little mishap with this one where you'll see in a second I'm not going to spoil the fun <laughs> but yeah this one's so pretty um and they're just leaves but they're pretty leaves I don't know what to say they're just pretty okay I had to give my voice a little rest uh which I could have just not said anything you guys wouldn't notice but we're about to stamp this one on and the bottom doesn't stick very well which again you should see that in just a second and so I kind of went to lay it down with my, oh, you can't really, t uh, yeah, I went to lay it down with my finger and it kind of went boink, sideways, um, but I can't fix it. So like normally I would just wipe off the stamp and be good to go. But if I wipe off the stamp, I'm going to wipe off some of the polish. Um, it is relatively dry, but the alcohol will definitely, even though it's not acetone, it, it will kind of ruin it. Um, so I was like, well, I'm kind of stuck with it. So now I'm just going to go in, I'm going to do a few little dots, nothing, nothing too crazy. And then after that, I will top it with the smudge free top coat from Maniology. And then I will top coat it with whatever I use, which I don't remember what I use because I have a couple nail polish top coats. So we'll find out together. I'm going to take a short little break and I will be right back. That was a very short break. Okay, so I did use my SE. This is called Gel Couture. Why they do that, I don't know because I feel like it could be really confusing to people. It is not gel. It is just nail polish. It's actually a really, really good top coat and I love it. It's really shiny, especially for nail polish. As you can see, kind of, I did get a little smudging. I don't know what from, but there was a little bit of black on the back of the nail. Again, I, <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything about it. Like sometimes I'll fix most of the time. I'm like, it's just not that noticeable or bad. This one also smudged a little bit, but you just really couldn't tell once I had the top coat on. So again, I wasn't really worried about it. See, you can kind of see the black on the ring finger. It's whatever. I'm not worried about it again. So here's what we got. And I flipping love them. I kind of wish I would have done these and the shorter nails because the shorter nails I will actually glue down and leave on a little bit longer. The long nails, I use the sticky tabs just to put them on for my video and take pictures and then they get popped right off. But I do love them. This is uh, ooh, something vanilla from Oil Oasis and I absolutely love it. This right hand I did for the Inspired Manny's collab um, and it's all CN designer dips. I have used these specific dips so many times I cannot get enough of it's the brown is s'mores the ring finger which is like a flaky is campfire and then the pinky I think was french pink either way I love them I love this how this Manny turned out I hope you guys liked it I will see you guys in just a few days because I do have two videos this week yay me have a beautiful day I'll see you in the next one bye